guys, welcome to the video. Hope you enjoyed the intro. That was from Fort DeSoto, uh, St. Petersburg. It's down by Tampa. It's in Florida. And that's our number one camping spot in Florida. We just absolutely love that place. So I thought it'd be a pretty cool intro. We had the electric bikes out. We're riding with our friends, Ken and Cheryl. And it's just a, a pretty cool place. Amy and I have been planning a lot lately for our upcoming Acadia National Park trip. We've been on the website, we've been looking at it. They got a pretty cool website, by the way. It, it breaks down all the different sides of Mount Desert Island and all the different places there in the park. These carriage roads, you can either hike them or you can bicycle them. So I was like, oh, well, can you take electric bikes? And sure enough, if they go under, I believe it's under 20 miles an hour, you can take your electric bikes on the carriage road. Hopefully they'll be open so we can get some good video footage so we were all wrapped up in this, uh, you know, planning our day-to-day -day itinerary, what we're going to do, try to fit, you know, all these different things in and try to, you know, how many hours we're going to need for this, how many hours we're going to need for that, you know, when can we sleep, driving time, I mean, all, all the different things we're trying to factor in so we can get as much out of this trip as we can before we get there. And then we can just kind of relax. We're like, okay, we can do this, this, this is next, this is next, this is next. That's kind of just how we plan and, and think. And then sometimes when we get there, the plan B would be uh, just fit everything in that we can. So sometimes that happens too as well. But So we were doing all this research, right, and looking at these carriage roads, came across these carriage roads on, on the website, and I'm like, dang, you know, we haven't even tried. It's, it's, we're days away from leaving, and we haven't even seen if the bike rack works on our electric bikes. If you don't know, a few months ago, uh, Amy and I purchased these electric e-bikes that are G-Force T12, Model T12. Not meant for the beach, but you could actually get away with it, as you saw in the, in the opening scene uh, that, uh, you know, we did get to ride them on the beach at Fort DeSoto, so that was pretty cool. We recently, of course, purchased a 2022 Thor Scope 18M. Man, that's getting a lot easier to say now. It's a, it's a travel van. The van came, this bike rack, it's made by Thule, T-H-U, L E Thule and I looked it up it's a pretty reputable uh, company but this it comes with this I think it's like $700 rack if you were to go out and buy it and most of the time when you buy it you have to install it which it's really easy to install but ours was already installed I was worried that the bikes would not fit one they're too small and they would just fall off or something's gonna happen and then two we were worried that they weighed too much because electric bikes weigh a lot more than just regular bikes. For up to almost about 50 pounds maybe, there is a, a big battery that's inside of them uh, that you can take in and out. And it weighs probably about five pounds. The bike rack, uh, you can put up to 77 pounds. Um, so I, I would put us over probably about 20 some pounds, 30 pounds, but it seemed really sturdy with them on there. Now, I will admit that it took took some time to figure it out. I went to YouTube and watched some videos on how to uh, put the bikes on there properly, kind of tweaked it to our bikes, in other words, because some bikes it's easy, and I saw a lot where people were putting their handlebars at one end and handlebars at the other end for the other bike, and then they had them properly spaced and all that, and they weren't touching the van. so. Through trial and error and watching those YouTube videos a thousand times until I got it down pat. see it's really easy just in a few steps you can get it down get it ready get it set put the bikes up there lock them down it's really sturdy it's gonna carry our bikes so the van is going electric so we are gonna bring these bikes with us everywhere we go so we can detach them within five minutes hit the road 
hit the trail, hit the beach, whatever. Hit the town. Hit the neighborhood. Uh, you know, whatever. You, we're going to hit it. The carriage roads. We're going to hit the carriage roads, man. But I wanted to show you guys how simple it is. You know, get it ready. Put the bikes on there. Attach the bikes. Fasten it. And how sturdy it is. They have straps on the bottom. And they cinch when you, on around the tires. They have these shoes that the tires go into. Um, that they sit. We drove the we, we drove the van around. Um, and I was like shaking it up. Hitting turns. I didn't want the bikes to fall off. But... I wanted to see if it was going to rattle or hit the window or we're going to have issues and we still may have issues coming up going forward i don't know but i pretty i feel pretty safe after my inspections and my you know tactical maneuvering to see if this if these bikes were gonna you know plummet off the the back of the uh the van or smash the window perhaps or scratch the side of it i was just you know, I think that way. I'm always paranoid about stuff. and But it worked out great, and um, I'm very happy with it. It's easy to assemble if you do have to put it on the back. Uh, easy step-by-step -step instructions. And then once it's on there secured, you know, it ain't going nowhere. It does have locks where you can lock. Uh, locking mechanisms where you can lock the bikes in. Uh, in two different spots with a, with a key, a key lock. Um, we bought some additional bike locks to lock it on there to secure it to make sure you know to prevent theft so i have heard on van life or if you're parking the van for a long period of time in different places or out in the country you may have theft you have to watch out for that so we're going to make sure that's secured so hopefully you know nobody messes with it and we get to take these bikes everywhere and it's just going to be a lot of fun if you'd like to learn more about our e-bikes which ones we purchased we did make a video uh, on that called going electric so i will link that in the description below and there'll be a card somewhere in this video that you can uh, click on that and watch that video. It talks about you know the reasons why we went from a regular bike to electric bikes. A lot of people asked you know hey do a video about the pros and cons after you've had it for a while. So I plan on doing a, a second going electric video because we've only been we've only taken the bike so far to about four or five uh, different places and I, I really want to have some of the footage from the carriage roads that just looks so beautiful up there and kind of put a little mix together uh, b-roll mix together so I can you know show you guys accurately and as I'm talking about the pros and cons and right now really as it stands there was only one con that I had the battery whenever I would fold the bike up it folds into a you know crunches right up and I, we were putting them in the back of the gladiator the, the bed of the truck easy so when I folded them up the battery on mine would always fall out I couldn't figure it out and all it was was taking the key that comes with it and going underneath um, the frame and you can there's a keyhole there and you can you can lock and secure the battery in place but like I said it's just a, a it's a couple of steps to and, and this is they, they obviously worked um, it obviously can carry them it obviously can you know handle the payload um, with this bike you know obviously it can it can handle the bikes on the back of the van um, it's not too heavy it's going to be on there secured we're not going to have to worry about it so anyway let me walk you through the process it's really easy the process is simple all you do is uh, undo the top two bolts right here and then you you raise the uh, top bar up and then lock it back into position you lower the bottom part if you haven't already there's two straps on the bottom part that will lock it in place to the bar then at that point you just adjust your shoes these these sturdy shoes that you have and you pick the bike up and put it up there and then there's two bars that come down that are locking mechanisms with our with our bikes we had to tweak it a little bit so you have to play around with it don't get discouraged if if you watch the video and try to do it by the video whatever instructions you're getting don't be discouraged if at first you don't succeed because I didn't succeed many times at first and I was like scratching my head like what the heck's going on you know ultimately I realized that the bottom trays there's two bottom trays that the bikes sit on and you could there's a bolt underneath there that you can undo and slide the trays for to offset the two bikes I put both of my bikes going the same direction use the trays to slide one back and offset them and I was able to use the bars, the two bars, as you can see, um, to lock it into place. I did it a little bit differently. I did it like under the seat, you know, 
I put it somewhere where it was going to be secure and I could lock it down and then I can key lock it on there and then we put the bicycle locks around there, the extra bicycle locks around there. So I wanted to take a minute to share this with you. We are fixing to take Charlie, our grandson, to Hannah Park. So this is going to be Charlie's first van life adventure. Yeah, I just wanted to take a minute and share it with you. And these electric bikes are so awesome. If you'd like to see the travel videos that we did where we used the bikes and we put them in the videos, I'll link those descriptions below also. I'm going to leave you guys with the outro. The outro is going to be, let me set this up. Let me set this up. Uh, the outro is me taking the bike back off to show you how, how, you know, obviously it was sped up a little bit times three. So it's a little faster, but still, if you take my word for it, less than five minutes once you learn it and get it down pat and practice this procedure using this tool we'll see you on the next one peace am i getting that down Ooh, i might have got that let's see ready one two three bam yeah oh i'm supposed to turn it off now